Yeah. Um, what's the point of it all, man? You know, just, what's the point? Yeah, it's going to be one of those ones. If you don't like depression, well, I don't use the word depression. It's just like you know, enthusiastic podcasting. What's the point, man? I, we, were, we weren't going to do a podcast this week because um, some mismanagement went on with us and the recording and stuff and the editing, so on and so forth. But, but here we are. I mean... My idea was to be like, nah, we need to take a week off. We need to do behind the scenes work. Ah, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This can't be asked this week. I'm not feeling it. I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe I come out, I come back from a holiday. Maybe I'm still in relaxed mode, but I just can't be fucked. Like, honestly, I think you guys need to understand. I know we part every week, but some of those weeks we really didn't want to record. I know it sounds like a lot, lot, a lot of effort, but... No, 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 bullshit, bullshit. I'm explaining because I think, nah, because they don't understand. Okay, let me say, we told them, we told you that every Wednesday, once we say a commitment, we are committed to that commitment. I can only explain to you, this is our week. So Matisse has a job. Um, we're studying with students, so on and so forth. Our week is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, podcast, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Again, so every seven days. Now, I don't think you understand what actually goes into doing a podcast. You have to f- record. You have to. F- you have to get make times because Matisse is working. Um, our other co um co um co host um Simon he works as well. Got to find blips in the the time periods where everyone's av- available to record. Then you got to have to record, and then you have to um edit. Then you have to promote. Then you have to put a podcast out, and then you have to try and get views. And then you know what happens after all of that shit. You do it again and again and again and again. <laughs> We've done it eight times. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought this shit would be easier. And then we had the co-hosts that we lost. Yeah, you know why you left. And then <laughs> we've had guests that are not working. And then we've had guests that we have to, we, we want to get on, but the, the times aren't good for them and the blur, the blur, the blur. And then it, just a certain point, you're just like, what's it all about? And I'm not talking the podcast. I'm talking what's life about? What, what, when you are, below the poverty line and below the emotional stability line what is it all about oh i never heard, i've never seen the side of sad he's, he's losing the plot yeah maybe i am maybe i am what's it all about people why do we exist what is the point of being alive just to live for the weekend what's the point of just doing things for the sake of doing them at what point, as humans, do we just say, fuck it? I, I, I can't anymore. Just fuck it. You know? Anyway. <laughs> you know when you said recording, like, you didn't even go into detail. You know, recording is only the half of it because most of the time, the episode just doesn't work. So there's, there's audio problems. There's audio. There's, there's silent gaps. And it's just like, oh, we've recorded, the job's done. And then we listen back to it maybe 48 hours later when everyone's got time and everyone, the whole group can get together and we could all listen to the audio back and see if the quality is there and there's an issue. And then it has to be edited. Or the podcast is just not fire and it's just not entertaining. Or the and audio's bad. we have to make another episode or we have to record again. We have to record three or four times at 12 o'clock at night when everybody wants to go to bed and people have work in the morning, but we just have to record because every fucking wednesday people and i'm not gonna lie this week i almost was like oh just fuck it just fuck it just forget it <laughs> it's just shit man just it's like it's not about the podcast this is not like it's just life man you know oh i think you've got deeper problems than i do <laughs> <laughs> you're having a rough week <laughs> my lot my, my, to be fair last week was good for me i went to barcelona I had a good time. I think I did everything you could possibly do. Maybe not everything, but yeah. But while I was away, my friend Saj here seemed to be withering away like a plot. Taking L's all over the place. Capital L City. And then you have to grit your teeth and then smile and come on in and pretend. I can't do it this week. I couldn't. So we weren't going to do it. And then I was like, and Matisse was like, oh, what? So you were, why? Because you're going to be depressed. And he was like, yeah. And he was like, well, then just go on there and be depressed. And I was like, oh, I don't really think the people will like depressed Sag. Depressed Sag is a pretty bit of a pretty depressing guy. I'm not saying I am depressed. I am just emotionally saddened because I don't want to use, I don't want to crap on people that have actual depression. I know what real depression is a medical illness, can, a, mental, a mental illness. I'm not a happy bunny. <laughs> oh.
Yeah. Quick, quick. <laughs> <laughs> quick question. How do you know if you're depressed? I've always wondered that. How, that's a very good question. What's this? Good question. I feel like, I feel like you're not, well, are you talking in the medical sense or are you just talking in, just in general? No, just, just in general. How do you know if you're depressed? It's a very interesting question. Because I know everybody doesn't want to say they are because they don't want to um, diminish actual depression. But then if you keep doing that and you are depressed, like I feel like that's the problem. People think they're not depressed because they don't want to diminish the word. Fam, is this an episode on depression now? No, I'm just, no, I'm just asking a simple question. I'm, I'll move on in a minute, but I'm asking. So like you'll know if you're depressed and then like you can go to a doctor and like confirm it, I guess. Okay, but I don't think people... I don't think people know if they're depressed because they don't want to diminish depression because they don't want it to be taken lightly. So they take their own problems lightly and they say they're not depressed when they probably actually are depressed. So my question is, how do you know if you are depressed? I'm not the man of, with the answers about depression. You've got to go to someone that knows more about the. That's a, it's a good question. That's a good question. That's a question. That's just a question for the people. I'm just asking a question because I, I, like, there is no line to cross. There's no like, oh, oh I'm depressed now. I don't know. I'm just asking. This podcast is making people depressed. This is a depressing podcast. Um, next week will be. F- I can't tell you anything. I'm uh, no, nah. I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. I was gonna be like, next week will be better. I can't promise you that. Don't lie to the people. We are going to try, but don't lie. <laughs> it could just keep plunging down, and we just keep diving into disparity. That's that's what could happen. I ain't gonna lie to you. Anything could happen. This is the Cast Aside podcast. This is the problem I spoke about earlier on. I said we can talk about anything. This is what we're having an issue with, and I think that may be the issue. The fact that we can talk about anything may be the problem because you've cast your net too wide, and then you can't actually think of something. I don't know. Let me break it down a bit more. When Matisse means that is when you can speak about anything here yeah, you end it's a lot harder to pinpoint a subject because it can be the podcast can be about anything from week to week picking something becomes incredibly hard and then you often like we did for the first few weeks of the podcast just end up talking about absolutely nothing because we have free range to, it's, 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 a, it's an oxymoron it's like it's, it's the biggest paradox ever a podcast that can speak about anything will end up talking about nothing it's weird I f- <laughs> It's like we're stuck in a loophole. It's funny. Because on the last um, podcast we did, we had a very strict regime. It was the Time When series. And we only spoke about ourselves and what happened in the past. It was very easy. We just speak about stuff that we've done stupidly back in the day. Everybody seemed to like it. And it was just easy to go week to week. We didn't have to prep or anything. Now, this week, I'm going to put Instagram stories up on our Instagram. So if you're not following that, cast aside podcast Instagram. There will be stories up. I'm not asking you to follow. Just do whatever you want. But there are going to be stories. Not even so much stories. Not so much stories. We're going to pause. Pause. On the stories, there will be polls. So if you want to have your say on what direction the podcast, well, what way you want it to go, there will be questions there that you can vote on, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, that's basically what will be happening. I mean, we, like, it's weird. We, we want to do our own thing, but at the same time, we want you guys to be entertained and we haven't got a set regime so this is a perfect opportunity for you guys to just muscle in on there and be like this is this is what i want to see and more than likely you might actually get what you want because we don't have a fucking clue what we're doing right now if we did this episode wouldn't be coming out yeah pretty much this is and a very impromptu type of episode but also this is a good episode because i feel like people and this is a rule for the internet Whatever you see on the internet, there's always something going on behind the scenes. You see, you see those lovely channels, those big channels where everybody's like, oh, this, 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 this couple must be fire. These people must always be having fun. There is always something going on behind the scenes. And we could pretend to upload something funny. And you guys could have just sat there and been like, oh, these guys are pretty funny this week. This episode's pretty lit. They must be having a really good time. When the truth is, this week has just gone absolutely fucking pear-shaped. And everything that has gone wrong has gone wrong. And that is why we're recording like this, because it's just facts. The amount of arguing. Me and Matisse have been on the phone. It is four o'clock now. Yeah, we've been on the phone since 12 o'clock arguing about the direction moving forward and the discrepancy of things that Matisse isn't happy with, but I like, and the things I like that Matisse isn't happy with. And then um, 
Simon is not available as much to get involved in the conversations and it's just been chaotic. And just to, to smile and wave as the penguins of Madagascar say, I can't do it. I can't smile and wave, boys. I can't smile and wave. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what's funny? Nah, to be fair, to be fair, Simon's on holiday right now, so I hope he's having fun. I don't even want to see. Like, if we was gonna message him and be like, "Oh, how's it going?" You know, let's try and um talk about this. Nah, he's on holiday. Just let him, let him enjoy his holiday. I had my holiday last week. I kind of got to come out of cap, but not really. Kind of due to my own fault because I have an obsession with cap, and I was like, "Oh, what's going on? What's going on?" Probably a good thing I did that because look how fucked we are now. <laughs> but yeah, I just know. Um, yeah, we was on the phone for four hours, but we didn't actually speak for four hours. There was a lot of silence, a lot of tiredness. Just, yeah, just a lot of, like, we'll argue for like five minutes and then there'll just be a minute, like three minutes of pure silence or like 10 minutes of just thinking of ideas. And ultimately, let's put it this way quickly. Let me jump in. Ultimately, we are happy to do this. We want to do this. We enjoy doing this. It's fun. We got, we, we can voice our opinions and stuff. But at the same time, it also takes a toll, but we love it. So, hey, you know? This is, that's the only um, thing I say with people that are, cause we've, I'm not going to lie, like I'm surprised. We had audio problems two weeks ago and I put it out on Instagram and it wasn't visible on the Instagram, but I got a lot of DMs. Thank you, everyone. A lot of help. I didn't realize how many people actually gave a shit. I just put that up just for a hit and hope. Um, a hit and hope. I've never heard that, never heard that expression before. That, that, that needs to be a thing. A hit and hope. Okay. I like that. I like that. <laughs> A lot of people have been. A lot of people have been like, "Oh, I want to be a host. I would like to replace your old, your old host. I would like to come on more regularly." To those people, you don't really want it, and maybe you do, but I really want you. I no, I, I want everyone that says that to just be a guest for now because I would like a new host, but I don't think you quite understand just how much shit you would have to do, or how much shit it takes a toll on your on your day or in your life. Let, let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. Okay. The podcast takes up so much of your spare time. Me and Matisse joke to each other and say, ah, oh, like on weeks that we like take really like, we were, we were really laxed on the podcast and we don't really do too much with the podcast and we're just trying to live our real lives. Me and Matisse joke to each other and say, ah, oh, sorry. Like, oh, sorry, dude. I know, I know I had a real life this week. Sorry, man. I know. <laughs> and that, oh, I couldn't get stuff done for the podcast. Sorry, dude. All right. Back, back, back to the dungeon next week. Trust me. No, no life for me. It's, we make jokes about how much of your spare, our spare time it takes up to the point where we joke that we have to go back to prison so we can focus on the podcast. I think there'll be people sitting there thinking, oh, they're over-exaggerating. There's not that much to do. Let me just go through it real quickly with you. Okay. So we went through the, the, the stuff that you would know, the editing, the uploading, the recording the promoting, the getting views. If we don't get the views, how much stress that actually causes within the group because oh, we feel Jesus like... Christ. I think I, I like. I really don't think people understand. You can't just put something out there that you've worked hours on. You've made the artwork to promote it. You've edited it. You've you've recorded it. You thought it was funny. You enjoyed making it. Once it comes out, that is not where the stress ends. That is where it begins because if it does not get the views you want, if you really care you're going to be pissed. You're going to be like, why is this under... Let me, let me quickly put this out there. Anyone that is a creative and creates content, yeah, you're lying to yourself if you tell yourself, I just want... Like, okay, there's like 10, 15% of people that just want to make content to make content and don't give a flying F if it's viewed or not. But the majority of people, including ourselves, we're not going to pretend like we don't. We want our stuff to be viewed. Otherwise, who are we doing it for? Ourselves. Like, that kind of like weird narcissism is crazy. So of course we, a lot of people are like, oh, we don't care about the views. Duh, 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 you're lying. You, of course you care about the views or well, you wouldn't do it. Or you, you want people to view it. Not about views per se. You want people to view your content or give you critique of your content or some, some type of conversation about your content. You want it. It's, it's, it's a silly concept to say like where people will be like, oh, I don't really mind. I'm just doing it for myself. Put it like this. We live in the real world, okay? We don't live in fairyland. If this doesn't work out, eventually you have to stop because you have to get a real job, pay for shit and live your life like a normal human being. So if this doesn't work and you don't gain any financial aid from it or you don't like, you don't live from what you're doing, what you're creating, then you have to stop eventually. It's not, a, you, that's it. Or you can't produce it as good as you want to because you don't have the financial backing to actually produce what you want. I would love, 
have a typography that lasts the whole video, um, the whole podcast, and you see flashing words up on the screen of everything we say, and it's all artistic and it just looks sick. But that costs thousands of pounds or euros. It's not doable unless you're making money and then you can put money into it to make it better. So you have to get there's no option. Let me let me wrap this up because we're over 15 minutes. Oh, are we? Oh yeah. I want to say in terms of monetizable stuff, I would say just progress. Progress that you want to see. But doing this, one thing that I've really understood is doing stuff and creating stuff takes like I know in your head you think you can get things done in a day. Creative stuff takes way longer. Well, creative stuff that is of a decent quality takes way longer than you think. And and don't rush like people on the outskirts who are taking an interest. Thank you. But don't rush yourselves into this situation. Really just just come on as a guest, enjoy yourselves and just limit just take just don't even take any responsibility because you don't want to come in here as part of this clang and take this burden off us because it will be then on you. And we're, we're very different <laughs> to work with. We, we really care about this podcast. And when we start working with people and if they can't handle it, things go south very quickly as you already saw. So just come on as a guest, enjoy yourself and then just go home. <laughs> Don't come on here and try and do some mad shit. Go home. So there you go. <laughs> I'll end this with, unless you're a trooper. And if you are a trooper and a, a real trooper, which a lot of people say they are, but they're not, DM us. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Um, got over 15 minutes, so yeah. Adios, amigo. <laughs> Bye-bye.